Today is gonna be our first time in Rome. Brown sugar shaken espresso, please. The name of the city is very long and very difficult. Civita Vecchia. <laughs> yes, oh good. Good pronunciation. <laughs> Welcome to Roma. I'm very this is exciting. Today. First this time here. Okay. We're doing the Vatican, the Colosseum. We're doing a city tour, just walking around. Hoping Hope to get the fountain. That'd be cool. Spanish steps, maybe. Ooh. We'll see. Just a big city day. Wow. Possibly the most important sculpture of the day. Right? What a good boy. Are we allowed to talk? Good boy. A man and his cat who is wow. biting a stick. That looks like my house. How nice is that? So listen, this is another one of those times we're always going to keep it 100% real with you guys. The Vatican was cool. I, the history there, the architecture, the art, it was absolutely stunning and we're glad we got to experience it. But there were so many people. I, I've never seen that many people in such a tight space just being shuffled around like cattle. I'm not sure if there's a better way to do it if you go earlier or later in the day or if there are private tours or what, but like it definitely wasn't our best tour experience. You could hardly hear the guide. It was hot. People were sweating. It was just, it was a lot. So keep that in mind if you guys end up going. We hopped back on the bus and headed off to the Coliseum. And now we have it, Coliseum. Babe. I mean, we were the going Coliseum. to the Coliseum. Oh my goodness. We're yeah, going to get to go inside too. But That's what are, I'm excited we were, about. This is amazing. Lot. The Roman Coliseum. So cool. I mean, the Vatican was very cool, but this, this to me, like just expecting. envisioning the, the mass gatherings that would happen and all the fighting and things that would be going on in there. Like think about these streets and just how different it was just a few hundred years ago. I guess that couple thousand years ago. When, do you know the dates? It was built in about 70 AD and used until about the sixth century. So that's just, I mean, so it's this is crazy. That's insane. Imagine being a gladiator coming down these steps, knowing what you're, or not knowing what you're about to face. It's crazy because as cool as it is, when you actually start to think about it, it's also very morbid. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Wow. Look at the steps up into it. Insane. Imagine walking in there and seeing lions that you had to go up against. My head just happened to be in Why the Why are you me mugging the vlog? You My just got too big of a oh. head, bro. Chels with the fun facts, what do we got here? It took 60 to 100,000 people to build this, and over 350 years, their estimate that over 400,000 people died here in the Colosseum. In the process of building it, building the it. prisoners, the slaves, the entertainment, the yes. everything. And keep in mind that some of those people were gladiators who were like, that was like their entertainment. Those were people who wanted to be here. Can you imagine sitting up in these seats watching somebody fight a lion? And that was like just that, like, I, I'm sorry for the lion, but that's that's pretty cool. That's insane to me. It's also estimated that there are over a million animals that have died in here. Everything from lions to buffalo to hippopotamus. Yeah. And for whatever reason, that almost bothers me more. It really does. That. All right, Chelsea, you're fighting a lion. You get a choice, sword or shield. Sword. Lance, you're fighting a lion. You get a sword or a shield. What are you taking? Sword. Sword? Okay, go. Sword or shield. You're fighting a lion. You get one. Going sword. Shield. Shield, my dog. Going. Let's go. Sword or shield? Fighting a lion. Probably sword. Sword? I think sword is the wrong answer. I really do. Shield, you can defend yourself, and you can bash the lion. Sword? If you miss that first swipe, you're done. And if you miss, you're done. But he's going to go around you, for sure. Well, More importantly, no, is a hot dog a sandwich? No. It's meat between buns, bro. It's a sandwich. Just incredible. So crazy. This is so cool. So while being inside of it is absolutely incredible, you can't really get good photos of the Coliseum from the inside. I think we're heading over to this hill over here to get the outer perspective. Say it like you mean it. You got to say it like you mean it. Like you're actually having fun. Does it look like fake? So here we are in Rome outside the beautiful Colosseum with our beautiful friends working. When you see all these beautiful photos, we have bodyguards blocking the shot. I'm the professional bag holder. Anything for the content, right Trev? Are you hearing the music? This guy's eating pizza in the back alleys. 
seeing people eating pizza. <laughs> I'm seeing Paige's face light up. So I this think is we're in the right this is amazing. <laughs> Another European alley. The highlight of this trip. Has the back alleys. Alley. Don't take the streets. This is unbelievable. I've never seen anything so just naturally beautiful. So beautiful. I really want flowers like this in our house. We'll make this work. This is unreal. Chelsea, are you down? If we have more time, we could rent one of these. That is amazing. Rome in a sidecar. I don't know how I feel about you driving. Next time we're here. Oh, we would be flying. We could get you like those uh, Amelia Earhart goggles and maybe a scarf. Yes. It's not like by the slice? No, it goes by weight. No way. They measure it by weight? Pizza ordered by weight. I've never seen that in my life. About a 15 minute walk across town and we have made it to the iconic Trevi Fountain. Wanted to come here ever since I saw the Lizzie McGuire movie. Us too. Just dreamed of, of being here with Liz. This is pretty cool. A lot of people. Getting down in it here. Did we bring a lucky penny or anything? Are you supposed to throw change in it? Is that not a thing? You gotta fight your way in for a spot. Made it to the Trevi Fountain. It's not nearly as packed as what we were told, anticipating, prepared for. No, like we're, we got a lot. we're right here at the base and we got pictures with nobody in it. How cool is this? So, on the right side of the Trevi Fountain, there's a fountain called the Lover's Fountain, and apparently if you drink from it, your relationship will be successful. I don't think we need it, but I guess why not leave anything to chance, you know what I mean? The water is actually really cold and very good. I think I'm just very thirsty, but it's good. So good. It's almost like we're going to get married or something, right? Almost. At some point, maybe. No, we will. We're working on it. Trying. Coming soon. You guys realize we're all together forever now, right? Like we don't have a choice. The Trevi yeah, Fountain has spoken. Been, like oh, no. mixing up the couples all the way. <laughs> just stuck together forever. Pincitelli Trevi. This is the highest rated pizza spot in the area. 15 euro for a pizza. Look at that. Hot chili pepper. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's so beautiful. These took about 10 minutes to get out. Fresh, fast fired. Nothing better than that. Oh my goodness, this is the carbonara pizza. So Bufalina, this is the diavolo, and this is the margarita. Unreal. And we got pasta carbonara Thank too. You. All the carbs. Best part is we have about five minutes to eat this, so we gotta get to work. So in typical Trev and Chell's Page and Lance fashion, we have used every minute of the day, and we are getting back at 4.15, which is the exact time that we need to be there to be picked up. Otherwise, the bus leaves us and we're stuck here. I will say, I feel like that's something you have to be really careful with on a European cruise versus Caribbean. Like Caribbean, we feel like we have plenty of time. We're out, we do an excursion, we get back to the ship. Here, there's just so much to do, so much to see, so much on your bucket list that you try to push it and we've almost pushed it too far. We're being responsible, but it's easy to lose track and of time. And also, yeah. I will say, if you are familiar with Caribbean cruises, there are no ports here where you just get off the ship and there's stuff to do. So you have to be aware of taking the time to get somewhere and to get back to the ship. At least from what we've seen so far, I mean, you know, there might be some, but a lot of them, you're coming into like an industrial port and you can't just like walk off the ship and go find something to do. You have to pre-plan it or at least travel to it. That spire at the end of this street is where we're going. 10 minutes and there's a lot of people between us and it. We told him to go eat our pizza. <laughs> it's in an awkward spot. I couldn't go for it. So Rome, how's it stack up? We're coming back. We're coming back? Yeah. Favorite part, go. Uh, honestly, maybe Trevi Fountain. I thought it was going to be Coliseum, but Trevi Fountain I really liked. It was very, very cool. And the pizza. Very cool city. So much to do, so much to see. Not enough time. We did not get gelato. We got real authentic Rome pizza, which is made differently. We have olive oil in the dough. It makes it thinner, crispier and easier to digest. This is supposed to be like one of the healthiest pizzas in the world, so excited we got to try that. I guess we're gonna have to get gelato tomorrow. Tomorrow we just have to get gelato before we even start First walking. thing, we just have to get we're gonna get back on the bus, head back to the ship. I hate that noise. Alex, why? How much did you pay for it? Um, three dollars, and it's the best three dollars I ever spent because it is just, I knew it was gonna get on Chelsea's nerves. <laughs> We decided it was more important to get gelato than it was to go back to the ship. 
Cheers, guys. Finally. Oh, cheers. Gelato, cheers. My first Finally. ever gelato, it's worth it. Oh. Lived up to the hype. This is so good. Cheers. Gelato was amazing. So good, I decided to get it all over my shorts and shirt. Bringing it home with you, honey. Yep. We'll get it out. So now we're walking a half mile back to the ship. Successful day. Fantabulous day. Incredible day. Great day. I'm really Crazy day. We even came up with a very interesting potential plan for tomorrow. We're gonna keep that under wraps for now. Oh my goodness, look at this. We've got a little squirrel. <laughs> He's, he's so there's a rubber band to keep the tail off. Look at his little ears. Rowell is our stateroom attendant. We are very happy with him so far. Like he's been amazing. Also, should we tell him what we have tomorrow? Because there was Ooh. an invitation here. Should we keep it a secret? I'm excited. We can. First time we've ever done it. Camera's a little bit messed up, by the way. It's not focusing sometimes. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, we should be good now. It says, are you ready for decadence? We are delighted to confirm your reservation for two at the chef's table. So it says, as VIP and intimate as can be, welcome to the chef's table, the most exclusive and elevated dining experience on our fleet. Join an intimate group of fellow foodies in a private Epicurean journey led by the ship's chef de cuisine. So this is like a super fancy, super elevated thing where the head chef of the ship has specially prepared each course. He pairs it with a glass of wine. He comes out and talks to you about it. It's a very small group. It's very intimate, very exclusive. We've never done it before, which I'm gonna lose my mind at this lens. I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of this trip, but it's it's gonna be very cool. Trev and Chelsea have never done this before, so you guys will see it tomorrow. We're very excited. That was also an amazing day. Yes, it was. We're currently waiting. Chelsea had lint out our stain spray. And then you stained. And I, I need it. I got it all. It was on, I think it was on the camera and it got on everything Guys, that I touched. he got it so. on the pants that he wasn't even wearing in the bag. I, I don't know how I managed that. So we're going to clean me up a little bit, get these things cleaned up and probably head to the hot tub. We are so tired at the end of every day. The hot tub is just kind of needed. So funny. we'll see. You guys there for a nice little sail away shot. Thanks to me, Trev's clothes survived and we spent so much time in the hot tub that only Playmakers and Sorrentos were open. So it was pizza for dinner. We also forgot to mention the chef's table dinner is actually to commemorate a huge achievement for us. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for that celebration.